All right, guys, it's already writing on this sheet because I ran out of batteries the first shoot. But I want to talk about the ideal gas law. That's PV equals NRT. This helps us figure out either the pressure or volume or number of moles or temperature of a gas if you're given the other three variables. Often in the lab, you can measure three of those other variables. P is the pressure. V is the volume. N is the number of moles and T is the temperature in Kelvin. Now R is called the gas constant and it's going to have different units depending on what the units of pressure are that you use. Now I always want you to put volume in liters, I want you to put number of moles in moles, and I want you to put temperature in Kelvin. But if you prefer to use atmospheres for pressure, then you're going to want to use 0 0.08206 for your R. That way the units will cancel out. If you prefer to use kilopascals for pressure, the number I want you to use is 8.314. That way your units will cancel out. Let me give you an example and you can see how this works. I've got a 2 liter chamber. It contains 0.54 moles of H2 and a pressure of 3.4 atmospheres. Now I notice the atmosphere is there, so I'm going to want to use this R here. I could also just convert this to KPA and then use this R, but that sounds like a lot of work and I'm an atmosphere man. They're asking us what the temperature of the gas is. Well, you can simply fill in 3.4 times 2 times or equals 0.4 times R times T but I'm going to show you that we can rearrange this equation. In fact, if I have N and R multiplied by T on the right, to solve for temperature, I just take the left-hand side and divide it by N and R. See, undo multiplying by NR by dividing by NR on the other side. This way, I could fill in my numbers all at once. My pressure was 3.4 ATMs, my volume was 2 liters on bottom. My number of moles was 0.54 moles. And the R I'm going to use, I need it to cancel with ATMs. So I'm going to use 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Now, just to show you guys that I'm serious about these units, Atmospheres cancels with atmospheres, moles cancels with moles, liters cancels with liters, and I'm left with 1 over Kelvin on the bottom, which flips back up to Kelvin, which is the unit I need for temperature. Beautiful. Let's do this in the calculator. We've got 3.4 times 2 divided by 0.4, huh, 0.54, and divided by 0.08. 153.5. Now I haven't really included enough significant figures here, so I'm just going to leave it like that. If you had to round this to significant figures, the answer would be 200. Hence why significant figures are sometimes stupid. But in any case, 153 Kelvin for this particular scenario. Let's do one more together. Here I've got a 5 liter chamber with 10.4 atmospheres of pressure and it's 450 Kelvin. I want to know the number of moles of gas. Well, to solve for N, I'm going to take my pressure and volume and divide by RT. See? By un or the way I undo multiplying by RT is to divide RT on the other side. Nice. Now as I'm filling in the pressure of 10.4 atmospheres and volume, etc., I just want to point out it doesn't matter what the gas is. The ideal gas law assumes that all gases are exactly the same, in that the gas molecules don't interact with each other, they don't have volume, etc., etc., etc. It's a bunch of assumptions, but really all it means is you can treat every single gas the same. I don't care if this is gaseous uh, sugar or some massive molecule. If, it's, if you're using the ideal gas law, you are assuming that they're all the same. Uh, 
yeah, I stopped filling these in, didn't I? Volume is five liters, R, uh, atmospheres again. So 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin and 450 on bottom. So on the calculator, I got 10.4 times five divided by 0 0.08206 and also divided by 450, 1.408. Nice, and now I've solved for the number of moles in the chamber. This is useful for helping us to figure out molar masses in that if I knew what mass of xenon I had put in, I could just take that mass and divide it by moles to get the molar mass. But that might be a little more info than you needed. All you need is PV equals nRT and the confidence that you can do it. And I know you can because I believe in you. I hope you believe in you too. Take care and best of luck.